Hi there, join me for this total body mobility workout that is perfect for beginners. Now you do need a couple of yoga blocks or something similar so that we can pop the ground up for some of our drills. And this is also day nine of our 12 days of Christmas challenge. Are you ready? Let's go get started. Hi there, my name is PJ Wren, if you're unfamiliar with who I am, and I've been a personal trainer, certified fitness instructor, and coach for close to three decades, focusing on women over the age of 40, and welcome. This is going to be a great little session for you, working the mobility of all of the joints in the body. Let's start down on the mat. Now, if kneeling bothers your knees, I want you to double up your mat, or perhaps roll a towel, place it under the mat, do something to provide some comfort. Now we're starting into the hip joint. Wrists under shoulders, spread those fingers, knees apart under hips. Going really slow with the left leg, we're going to what we call a controlled articular rotation. So bring the left knee towards the left forearm and then lift it up without shifting any of the other rest of the body. Bring the knee up, thigh parallel to the floor, and then bring it down again. So what I want you to do is really put your mind into that hip joint and see how much you can rotate and go through this full range moving through that hip. Let's do it one more time. All right, other direction. So working mobility is different than flexibility. When we work with mobility, it's usually with movement. And we want to think about movement with stability and strength. So we're not swinging this hip around. We're doing it slowly with control and with focus. Flexibility is going to be lengthening into the tissue, the muscle, the tendons, connective tissue. All right, let's do the other side. Here we go, start by drawing that right knee towards the right forearm, bring it up, nice and slow. Again, you're really trying to articulate full rotation in the hip here. Knee towards the shin, lift it up, inside a knee, parallel with your ground, and then quadricep parallel. And one more time. Other direction. One more. Bring yourself into a 90-90 position. Right shins in front for me, lined up at the front of your mat. Left is behind, calf lined up with the side of your mat. In this 90-90 position, square your body to that front leg, lower yourself down, and then have the hands behind you, windshield wiper the knees, opposite direction, and then lower down. Hands behind. Now see if you can Windshield wiper the legs with the hands off of the mat. Slowly with control. Two more. Last one. And release. Maybe shake out those legs, shake out the hips a bit. Take yourself back onto all fours. Moving with the yoga blocks, 
because they just help build the ground up. So you've got three different heights. We've got one height, two height, three height. Step forward with that right foot so it's in between the blocks and then bring your foot towards the outside of your mat. Now on this position, we're going to shift now that left hand on our block just slightly outside of the shoulder. So that wrist is no longer directly under the shoulder. Right forearm, we're going to bring it down as close to the ground as we can and then rotate and reach up. Now as we come down to the ground, you can actually come on the outside edge of that front leg to see if you can lower down further. Can we get the elbow to actually touch that mat? One more. And heel toe the foot back to center, drop that back knee, lift yourself up. Moving through this left arm now, Circle it, leading with the thumb. When you get to the top, turn. Now lead with the pinky. Rotate so the palm is facing you again. Let's do that one more time. Up. Turn the palm. Pinky. Good. Take your blocks. Find a position that's going to work for you. Toe is up on this front leg now and you're sitting the hips back and holding this position, lengthening into that hamstring. And now let's bend the knee and go back into hip flexor and then pull back. Last two. Now let's hold this hamstring stretch here for a few breaths. Maybe relax that back foot. Lengthen through the spine. Make any adjustments you need to. A couple more breaths. Release. All right. Let's take ourselves now. Block back down. Left foot now in between. Take that left leg, bring it outside of the hip. Come up off of that back foot. Let go of that left block. Bring that left forearm elbow as much as you can. Again, you can rotate on the outer edge of that front foot and then rotate and look up. Back leg is strong, pressing that heel to the wall behind you. One more. Heel toe this leg back to center, drop the back knee, come on up, take that right arm now, lead with the thumb, come all the way up, and then turn the pinky behind you, rotate down as we rotate that hand so it's facing the body once again when it's beside you. Here we go, rotate up, pinky away, and now palm facing you. Back to the blocks. Bring them up for me. Press the hips back. Find that stretch, that length in the hamstring. And then flow forward for hip flexor. Maybe scooping the chest up, extending the spine. And then sit back for hamstring. Two more. Last one, and let's hold that hamstring stretch, pull back. Maybe walk your hands back a bit, 
press your hips back, lengthen the spine, gaze is just ahead of the toes. Couple more breaths. And release. Place your blocks off to the side. Take your hands underneath the shoulders. And now let's open up those knees. Take the left arm, bring it under for thread the needle. See if you can get the side of the head, the side of the shoulder on the ground and then lift up and reach up. Here we go, four more. Now getting into the mobility of the T-spine and shoulders. Last one. Let's take that left arm slightly ahead now. Thread the right one under. Try to get the side of the shoulder, side of the head to touch your ground and then lift up and rotate and follow your hand with your gaze. One more. And sit back. Tuck your toes under now. Sit yourself back. Get stretching and working into the fascia of the feet. And if you want to, you can get a little bit more by actually physically pulling the toes under. So we've got all 10 toes curled on the mat. And then sit back on the toes and we're holding here and breathe. Our feet are so neglected and as we age our feet let us know by either arthritis, plantar fasciitis, fallen arches, bunions. I encourage you to walk around more bare feet, spread the toes Grip the ground, start strengthening into the feet. We've lost the strength, which is creating a lot of havoc to our feet. Do you feel that? Let's breathe into it. Another 10 seconds. And slowly come on up. Release the toes, maybe Pat them on the ground behind you. And now bring the big toes together. Lift up for me. Pretend you have a wall behind you and I want you to take the left arm, reach it up and try to touch that wall behind you through extending to the spine and back to center. Right arm, reach up, push the hips forward. Try to tap that wall, that imaginary wall with the fingertips by extending to the spine and the shoulder. One more each arm. Last one. Bring the hands in front, bring the knees back underneath the hips, Walk the hands slightly ahead of the shoulders now. Fingers wide, tuck the toes under, press the hips up, downward dog. Feet hip width apart, ears resting beside the shoulders, beside the arms, pardon me, and just lengthening the back of the body. Now let's continue that work into the feet by doing walk the dog pose here. We're gonna come up high off of one 
heel, drop the other heel down, and then slowly switch. Two more. Now both heels come up as high onto the toes as you can and lower. Three more, come up high, up off and onto the toes and lower. Last two. One more. And knees to ground. Shake out the wrists. Using your yoga block, just one of them. Come onto your back. Place the block in between the knees and roll onto your left side. Bring the knees up so the hips are at 90. Hands on top of each other. Take that top arm, bring it up and over to the other side of the body and follow your hand with your gaze and then bring it back to center. Bring it up and over. Two more. On this open book, hold this arm behind you, turn your head, see if you can see the right fingertip gaze. Gaze at the right fingertips and really walk the shoulders so that you're pinning both left and right shoulder onto your ground. And hold. By placing the block in between the knees, it helps us keep that low back a little bit more secure, stable. So the twist is trying to come through the sort of mid to upper back region. and close the hand. Let's do the other side. Roll onto your side, knees are in, block is in between the knees, hands are stacked lined up with that bottom shoulder. Now take that top hand, lift it up, follow your hand with your gaze. Are you able to get the back of the hand forearm on your mat, on the ground? That's your goal. On this one, let's lift up, let's hold it. And now let's walk that right shoulder forward a bit or towards that right hand so we can pin this left shoulder on the mat and then turn the gaze towards the left fingertips as best we can and breathe. Remove the block, bring legs to center, knees to chest. You can go just knees to chest or hug them right in. And then rock them side to side. Extend the legs, have them apart, maybe mat width. Let the toes and the feet just drop out. Bring the arms down by your side, palms facing your ceiling, fingertips curled. Lift the chin up, slide it in and lower the head down so the back of the neck is long. Now if this is bothersome for your low back, bend those knees again and then just let them drop in towards each other. If you like, you can close your eyes and 
Let's count 10 deep breaths in and out. Here's one. You go at your pace, feeling your belly lift as you inhale. Exhaling all the air with an open mouth. And deep breath in through the nose. And then when you're ready, open your eyes, wiggle the fingers and the toes. And let's reach the arms overhead, stretch the arms and the legs, kind of like a good morning stretch. And bring the knees in, rock yourself onto one side of the body. Use your arms to press yourself up, sitting nice and tall. Stacking the vertebrae, hands resting light on the inside of the thighs. Thank you so much for joining me. If you found some restrictions in some of the poses and some of the exercises that we did, that's your body talking to you. So I hope you're listening and you revisit this video so that we can open up the joints and have the body moving at its best. Have a wonderful rest of your day. I look forward to seeing you next workout. Bye.